Hey everybody, welcome back, welcome back. This is a follow-up video from yesterday's video about this T400 ThinkPad T400 running a Core 2 Duo from the Windows Vista era. So yeah, there you go. This is when they, you could still open up these laptops and do all kinds of stuff with them. And uh, they still had that classic ThinkPad, ear, kind of irreplaceable keyboard. Uh, yeah, with these funky keys and all these funky keys. And of course you got the nub and you got the stuff going on so yeah there you go this is the classic and what is this that isn't windows that's a that's a the evil linux distribution Ugh. so yeah so what this is is i live booted it so you can see i got a usb stick in there i live booted it and you know i had so much success with my last uh ThinkPad Live Boot, I thought, hey, let's give it another shot here. So my recommendation is, if you're gonna do the, if you're gonna go down that Linux dark road, then you better pick a laptop that is pretty compatible so you can get it going real easy because no problem getting a driver for the Wi-Fi, which is, you know, pretty much essential when you're trying to set up a, a laptop to get the other drivers is you just need to have access to things like your um, you know your networking devices so without a networking device you're kind of dead in the water and that's what we discovered from trying to do the Dell uh, a little while back so I mean yes you can find them using another computer da 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 da, da. I, I've got ways to work around it using a range extender that runs through my uh, Ethernet card, which typically will work with these systems, so I can get it going. But the point is, is like for the average user who doesn't have a ton of experience and stuff, this is a, a great first dip into the um, the Linux world using Live Boot and just being able to test and see if it all works. And this thing does right out of the box. So. So let's t take a look at it. Now this is quite an old laptop, so it's always interesting to see what it can do in terms of uh, YouTube. And the reason I pick YouTube is because it's something that's practical that people might actually really use and want to use. And it's still fairly demanding for a laptop of this era to work with, um, you know, uh, YouTube in 2025 because things have changed so much so let's uh, let's give this a try i'm gonna cut out the music here so let's just give me a second i want to it's a little loud anyway there we go there we go all right so there we have it uh let's give this a shot does it have video does it have audio how does it play i can tell you right now it obviously had the uh uh, Wi-Fi ca uh, card nailed. Hey everybody, welcome back to another new thrift store find. Just recently got this. I got it when I found that other white um, uh, HP laptop. And that's when I almost didn't pick up the white HP laptop because this one was there and I wanted this one but they're both cheap so I grab a boat so this one is a T400 so now I have a T400 T410 T4, T actually I actually got two T410s a T420 and a T430 so I got all ton of T 400 series laptops. These are kind of like the sweet spot to me for laptops because they're just about the right size. You can camera out pretty easily, but yet they still have that great 
laptop, no great ThinkPad, keyboard with the knob. All right, guys, so that I think is enough to show that this thing has no problem playing YouTube and uh, not even consuming like like 100% of this, the CPU or anything like that. So yeah, quite capable, like as you can see. That's not a terrible profile for the CPU demand. And uh, you know, it seems to be using up about 19% of the memory, so lots of space there. So, I mean, this this laptop and any, it seems like any T400 series laptop that I've tried so far on live boot is like, just, uh, just seems to, you know, they, they seem to be making the distribution with, uh, with, uh, ThinkPads in mind. That's what I'm, what I'm seeing. So it's like Linux on a ThinkPad from like a T, T, T series. You're probably going to be able to get a lot of the drivers enough to get you going right away and then download the rest that you probably need to get. But it right off the bat, like it's, it's great. Um, so you know, the other other laptops, I think it's more of a, it's not a plug-and-play situation. It's more of a plug-and-pray because uh, I don't, I haven't had a lot of success with um, getting that wireless driver up and running right away with a lot of laptops. And to me, that's sort of like a make or break for me because, I mean, yes, like I said, I know workarounds, but then I can't really test a lot without being able to run, you know, things on the net and so like actually using it as a live boot to, to determine, do I wanna make that conversion if I was a person who was that interested in Linux is, is a deal breaker. So my recommendation, if you're gonna do Linux, get a ThinkPad, an older ThinkPad even, you know, like one of these or any, or T4, 430, 530, uh, 5 series, those kind of level of technology going back to even like the Vista era. And yeah, you're gonna have a lot more success finding the drivers and getting everything going. So there you go, that's my little short take on this one. Didn't wanna to spend too much time on it since we really covered off most of this laptop in the last video. But I always like to live boot things, uh, particularly ThinkPads, to give people an opportunity to see that yes, these laptops are good for Linux and you can try before you buy so to speak and commit yourself to Linux in a live environment like this and yeah it seems to work um, you know like even let's see I think the do the yeah so like even things like the you know the volume controls work and uh, let's see about the other well I can't it's not easy not with one hand, but uh, yeah. Um, yeah, so there you go. I'm not gonna be able to do it, but I know that the brightness controls work. So a few of these kind of things work. The light turns on, you know, this this light up here. It's a little light here that turns on right there. I can't do it because I can't reach over with, well, maybe let's do it. What the heck, let's just, let's just try and do this with my phone. There you go. There it is. That light, it works. In yeah, Linux. Uh, but yeah, so a lot of the other things work. Some of them don't. Some of them don't. Like this turning off your your um, trackpad and all that stuff. And your, your little uh, nub, it doesn't work, but maybe there's a driver for that, I don't know. Not off, not off live boot, but uh, you know, what do you expect? It's live boot. All I wanna be able to do with live boot is get on the internet, uh, be able to hear the sound, have a reasonable uh, driver for the um, video, and be able to play some video, some YouTube videos, and just make sure okay, that's at least covered. Those basics are there. I got sound. I got I got a network, uh, you know, Wi-Fi. I got you know, I got a chance to see how it runs with something that's at least somewhat demanding, because all these systems are going to run, you know, your uh, open office, so. Uh, I want to see a video running. That's at least a test of the computer. I don't know how, how to really test these systems to get like a comparable 
measurement versus, you know, what I do with, say, Nova Bench. Uh, but then again, I'm not just a massive Linux user. I can get by. I can do a few things in the terminal. I can I can get some productivity done with uh, Linux. I can certainly work with things like um, Python. But beyond that, uh, you know, uh, my skills with Linux are not uh, like crazy. But you know, with with AI, if you want to use the terminal now, it's certainly not like it used to be, where you'd have to, you know, be pretty versed. You know, you can get a lot accomplished just by asking some questions. One of the uh, you know competent AIs, and they can give you good advice on how to do things in the terminal these days. So, or direct you to the right locations to get that information. So there is that. So guys, that's it. I'm gonna pan back here and get a full view of Linux running on a, on my ThinkPad in all its glory. All right, guys, talk to you later.